Hi, this is Natalie of the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche bringing you another video, an exciting video today because I have a bunch of great finishes that I picked up from the Cross Stitch cupboard yesterday. So today I have some finishes to show you, some starts, some recently kitted up things, some things that are progressing from chart to finish. There's a whole progression. We'll read some Christmas Carol and we'll, what else? What else? Oh, I'll announce the winner of the giveaway. And I think that's it. I don't have any real vintage, oh, one vintage find I have to show you. That's not true. So let's begin. Let me show you the finishes. First off is by Lucy Beam, All Hallows Eve. Cute. This is just a chart I still have. The, the, these are called for threads. Um, and the linen is actually 32 count. It is made by eDesign. So linen is not available anymore. This linen is called, is called Halloween Night, actually. And it's got Dames of the Needle gray, gray fabric on the back, gray uh, velvet. That is one. Two, I've done, made this, I actually finished this a few years ago. This is uh, Little House Needleworks July. And I made it into a pillow or had it made into a pillow. This is actual antique lace. I think it's so pretty. This is handmade. And um, I think this is called, the fabric is called lamb's wool. It's lamb's wool fabric. And then we just picked out some fun, something for the back. So that came out good. My third out of four finishes is Halloween Greetings by Blackbird Designs. This linen, I no longer have this chart. Somebody bought it for me, from me. But this linen is mystery linen. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's really pretty though. It's a pretty color. It's a grayish, haunting gray color. This is a great floss. It's called Jack-O-Lantern. I love it. This, uh, there's some vintage, not antique, but vintage uh, lace on here. There's these great uh, beads, beaded trim. That This I got on eBay, I actually bid on it on an auction. It was antique beaded trim. I don't know if it's vintage or antique, but it's pretty cool. And this is pumpkin linen by Dame, pump, excuse me, pumpkin velvet by Dames of the Needle. Awesome. And now, this is the big finish. And this one's gonna go actually up there on the wall. This is by Little House Needleworks, Louisa Snow, on my own linen. And I don't know the count of this linen. I'm thinking it's 36 count. Let me see, is it 30? It's either 36, yeah, I think it's 36 count linen. My own hand dyed linen, striped linen. And you see what we did here? It's got the, I took some of the linen threads, like that you pull off the linen. And when you have a rough edge, you pull it off. And then I use these linen threads to sew over the sides. I just folded it and hand sewed it. And then we put it on top of the mat. It's mounted on top with this amazingly beautiful frame. This frame is just fabulous. I'm so pleased. I no longer have this chart either because I showed this on my Facebook group page and uh, somebody bought the chart for me. <laughs> People always ask me for the charts. I'm like, sure. And I think it came out good. I. Um, there is one little error on it. I did reverse some letters, which is fine. And I did add my own NW, Natalie Willis, right here. Other than that, it's pretty much 
as is. Interesting thing about Louisa Snow is that she was a uh, she was a Mayflower descendant, and my sister-in-law actually she traces her family back to the Mayflower. She's a member of the Daughters of American Revolution. And she has snow in her family background. So I believe that distantly, Louisa Snow is somehow related, or I should say my sister-in-law, Caroline is her name, is, is related to Louisa Snow. So I thought that was cool. I didn't know that until I posted this and somebody mentioned the Mayflower. They asked me if I was a Mayflower descendant, and I'm not. <laughs> I can't be because my four grandparents, all four of them are from Poland and Russia. So they came here in the early 1920s from Poland and from Russia. So my grandparents, um, I'm not a Willis, so I'm a Borkowski and a Lampert, but not a Willis. Borkowski, Lampert, uh, I think there's Furman in there somewhere, but anyway, my husband's a Willis, so, and he doesn't really know his genealogy. I think it would be kind of neat to, to go back and see it, but um, anyway, those are my finishes. And now for my starts. Let's not make a mess. I have two starts. I know it's a lot for me, but one is Plum Street Samplers, George Decorates for Martha. Now, Dying to Stitch has a club called Kindred, a club called Kindred Spirits, and this is the club kit. This is the uh, fabric that came with the kit, 36 count uh, vintage brown, or colonial brown, right? Colonial brown, excuse me. And as you can see, I started it. I changed the color. Do you see that pumpkin? Sort of, it sort of just melts into the fabric. Um, it was annoying to me. And that pumpkin is a DMC color. And I actually changed that DMC color to a much brighter color. So I changed this to peach ice cream, which is a little, it's got that sort of, tint to it, but it's much brighter, and you can see it much better on the fabric, so. So far, so good. The other thing I did with this is, um, there wasn't enough holes, because they have an A and a B, as you can see, so I just wrote the names of the floss in here. Otherwise, you had to go back and forth from another piece of paper and decode this, <laughs> and it was driving me crazy, so I, I actually wrote the names, and you can see there's an A and a B, there's two flosses on one hole. Would have been nice had they actually used a hole puncher and, pu and punched some other holes in here, but they didn't. But this is still really nice, so. My second start is really cool. I was at the cross stitch cupboard and I found a really old chart by Margaret and Margaret who are no longer in business. I don't even know if they're with us now. These ladies were from Kentucky, and this is called the Christmas Sampler. So pretty. And I just want to show you the price. Original price, $4.50, and look what I paid yesterday. $4.50. That's pretty cool. But what did I do with this? I took it out of DMC. I took the fabric, and I now am starting it off with... I converted the fabric all to overdyes. Oh goodness gracious, let's somehow get them here. Overdyed fabrics, overdyed flosses. Hold on, let me get these neat. How many people do them so neat? I think I need to put them on those uh, rings that everybody does. But overdyed flosses, the fabric is 36 count vintage homespun by R&R Reproductions fabric, R&R linen. And I think it's going to look unbelievably fabulous when it's done. As you can see, I started the, the church. So you can take something old and say, oh, this looks dated, whatever. I, I think it's going to look unbelievable. I especially like the holly in the border. 
And just to show you, the colors for the holly are going to be, let's look. I had this figured out because there's three different greens in here. Let's see. The holly is a little dot, which is light green. Okay, so we're going to have this for the holly. Um, these are going to be the holly colors. Either that or I actually have this amazingly beautiful karat, which I could also do for the holly, which might be a little bit too bright for the... I might just do that. Anyway, this is going to look fabulous, and I'm feverishly working on it. Not, not really, I just started it today, but I really want to work on that because I just love taking something and changing it, making it into my own. So it's going to look cool. If anybody knows about Margaret and Margaret, um, are they still with us? It's, it says Margaret McKee, so I guess that's one of the Margarets. I don't know who the other Margaret is. But if anybody knows who they are and are they, are they retired, or are they around, is she here? Um, let me know, because I'd love to show her my sampler after I'm done. I like sending it to the, uh, to the, uh, to the creator. Okay, so let me show you what my one or two vintage finds. Um, this is not a find, unfortunately. It's a inheritance. Um, this beautiful cup, beautiful, isn't it? Iridescent, so pretty. It's unmarked. I don't really know how old it is, but it had a saucer that was broken, so I don't have the saucer, but. My mother-in-law passed away, so she had some items, especially some Christmas items and, and so forth. And um, this was one of them, and I took it because I, I'm going to make it into a beautiful pin cushion. I'd like to make it into a shallow pin cushion, so that, like, like deep inside, so that this rose is still there. That's pretty. That's my only vintage find this week. I haven't really done it. I've been busy at work. I haven't been at a thrift store or an antique store or anything. Next on the agenda. Well, handwork samplers I've had in my stash. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. It's called the Eliza Hill Sampler. Just beautiful, beautiful. And I, did, uh, I didn't convert it, I just put it on these regular, these DMCs, which are the call for. This is out of print, by the way. And I thought that this fabric might, might work very well. This is, this is uh, Lakeside Linen Maritime White. It's not white, I keep telling people. This is pretty white, that's not white. But I think this will look really pretty on it. It's a thought. I thought maybe it might look good also on, this is 36 count buttercream, vintage buttercream, which is beautiful. I thought these colors would look real nice on the buttercream, so that's another option. So I finally at least got the threads for it and maybe, maybe got the fabric. That's one of them that I, that I now sort of am thinking about. Another one I got threads for is the Anne Hathaway Needlebook. These beautiful threads. And also I got the little beads for it. And this says it's done on Northern Cross 30 count white linen in off-white. I bought this piece of, this is 32 count attic lace linen by Lakeside Linens. I don't know. It looks white to me. It really does. It's not white. It is because, as you can see, this is white. This is not white. But it would work very nicely for this. Sort of a whitish color. So I'm thinking about that as well. Uh, this is Delaney Woods Treasures All Hallows Eve. Pretty, huh? This is completely kitted up now because I because it it's got the called for fabric. I didn't even realize I had it, but this is Dames of the Needle Age Saffron, and this is Ginger Snap. 
The other thing is it called for the black was either just uh, DMC black, Valdani H black, or Weeks Dye Work, work Swamp Water. The swamp water I had actually was very, very green looking, like didn't look black at all. So I pulled out some onyx. I think that looks awfully good with it. Onyx looks like an antique black to me. So this one's ready to go actually, and it's not gonna take long, real pretty. I'm just going here and then I have Stacy Nash Primitives Christmas at Hollyberry Farm, which I ordered the, the ordered the threads for. Pretty, huh? I think I'm missing one, but that's okay. Very pretty. And I found this fabric in my stash, which is 18th century brown. It's real pretty. It's real nice. Um, I was thinking about making my own fabric for this, but that 18th century brown just sort of speaks to me for this. Let's look at the, what she calls for. The call for linen is make. It's close. It's close to make. And then she ages it at the end. You see that with those big blotches, those are actually uh, the crystals mixed with water, the walnut crystals, which I, which I have now. I ordered some. Pretty, huh? And I'm thinking it's going to look real pretty on 18th century brown. This looks green to me. It just looks very green. I don't know why. I'm just going to have to... This is a thought, like I said. All, all the stuff I do is a thought process. I go through an entire process about how to, how to get the right colors, the right fabric, the right embellishments. And I think this will work. It's just a pretty, a pretty linen. I love how stiff it is. I've noticed that the newer R&R &R linens aren't stiff like this. I sort of like the older ones, the stiffness, just to show you. Can you see that together? Maybe, right? 18th century brown. Maybe. The rest of what I had here is some new charts. Let's do some Christmas Carol before I pick the winner. get a beautiful Christmas Carol. I really want a random one tonight. Okay, there we go. Are you the spirit, sir, whose coming was foretold to me? Asked Scrooge. The voice was soft and gentle, singularly low, as if instead of being so close beside him, it were a distance. Who and what are you, Scrooge demanded. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past, inquired Scrooge. No, your past. Perhaps Scrooge could not have told anybody why if anybody could have asked him, but he had a special desire to see the spirit in his cap and begged him to be covered. What, exclaimed the ghost, would you, would you so soon put out with worldly hands the light I give? So he covered his eyes. It is not enough that you are one of those whose passions made this cap and forced me through the whole trains of years to wear it low upon my brow. Scrooge reverently disclaimed all intention to offend or any knowledge of having willfully bonneted the spirit at any period in his life. He then made bold to inquire what business brought him here. Your welfare, said the ghost. Scrooge expressed himself much obliged but could not help thinking that a night of unbroken rest would have been more conducive to that end. The spirit must have heard him thinking, for it said immediately, your reclamation then, take heed. It put out its strong hand as it spoke and clasped him gently on the arm. Rise and walk with me. 
I just have such a vivid thought of in the version of Scrooge where they have the the musical Scrooge the musical is one of my favorite ones it it's a woman with very with a beautiful hat but it was old old looking hat and it was bright in the Mr. Magoo Christmas Carol which again is one of my favorites as well it was a uh, just sort of a small figure I think it was male. In the book, it says it. It doesn't really say if the ghost looks like a male or a female. So the ghost of Christmas past is there to take Scrooge to see his past. If we could only see our past and experience it from, from now. Of course we have memories, <clears throat> but our memories may not be accurate. My, uh, like I said, my mother-in-law passed away <clears throat> that last week, and the family's going through the house and bringing stuff. I have, I have some of the pictures, and uh, <coughs> some of the uh, items of hers. And going through the house, it's like reliving her past, like seeing her Christmas. Items. They brought me her Christmas uh, ornaments, which I'm going to put on the tree this year. And I just, um, looking and imagining, when did she get this ornament, and when did she get that ornament? And I found one made by my husband, clearly in the 1970s, and I asked him if he remembered. He said no, it looked very childlike. And, you know, I, I always wonder, will someday some, but maybe one of my kids watch this video if they can find it and say, I remember mom when she did those videos. Anyway, I really love, love a Christmas Carol. It's so relevant for today. Next, I'm going to pick the winner of the fabric. I think I left the fabric. Yes, I did. I think I left the fabric in the kitchen. Yep, it's all right. The fabric and the needle minder. Remember, it's going to be a needle minder of your choice, meaning just tell me what you like, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to go on to, let's go on to YouTube. And we're going to go on to the URL. Hold on, we have to get, oh, we're out. Oops. i got to pick this up. Okay. Is this right? Um, hold on. Let's see. Is this the one I did, or is this somebody? I because somebody. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. My channel. It's got to be the last video. I got to make sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm going to um, get the URL. Okay. Copy link, and then there is actually a YouTube comment picker. And then I'll have to find this person. Hopefully they're a member of the Facebook page as well. YouTube random comment picker. Okay. Paste. Okay, here we go. There are 17 unique commenters. That's it. So your chance of winning is pretty good. It's gonna pick the most comment. I'm gonna Make sure it's, if it's, oh, here we go. Kimberly Strickland, a very nice person. And she writes, what does she write? Love that big green box. That's what she wrote. <laughs> so Kimberly, uh, Kimberly Strickland got it. I will find her and let her know that she, uh, she won. She's actually very lovely, so very nice person. Um, I also have to pick the Facebook one. That's harder. That's harder. So I'm just going to go to the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche on Facebook. Oh, goodness, we have two member requests. Let's approve. And this one is, um, okay. So we have 965 members. Nice. This is a 950 member winner. And actually, it's a whole kit. It's, the, it's a whole Brenda Gervais kit. And there are 159 comments. And I have to pick, let's see, one, let's go one to 159. 
Let's do number picker. Number picker generator. Random number uh, generator. Um, let's do, well, actually all you gotta do is pick a number. And picking number. Okay, so we have, what did I say, how many? And then I'm gonna actually go on there later and figure out who it is. 159 comments. And I did scan through it to make sure nobody commented twice. So one, two, 159. It is number 117. Number 117, can you see it? I don't know if you can. Let's lower this all the way down so you can maybe see it. 117, so it's the 117th comment. 117th comment. So I will go on there later and announce that. For the next giveaway, just to do with this video, just for video commenters, I, well, let me do this at the end. You already saw it, but we'll talk about what we're going to give away. I'm going to show you a bunch of new charts. I was going to do one of the magazines, but I'm sort of tired tonight, so we'll keep this brief, hopefully. I just bought this at the Cross Stitch Cupboard yesterday. It is the Cricut Collection called Thanksgiving Circle. Look at that. There's something awesome about it. These are both the same, just one done in on big fabric, one done on little fabric. I think these are awesome. And I think what I'd want to do is make it into a um, a candle mat, but I really like that. Some of these are random that I got in a lot or that I bid on that was very inexpensive, so I figured I'm just going to um, maybe sell these on my on my Facebook page or or do some giveaways with them. This one is called My Favorite Thing Stitching Basket with Thy Needle. I think this was from a some sort of retreat, actually. But it looks like it goes inside the basket. So you just find a basket of the right size. You make this, it goes inside the basket, and then you've got these two. It's actually wonderful. There was another one from With Thy Needle. This one's called A Child's Prayer. It's a little, very pretty sampler. And there's another one called A Fair May Maiden Etui, which is one of these things that opens. It's awfully pretty. So these were, these were in there. Then this one was in there. This is reflects the so a pochette vintage. Pretty cool, huh? It's beautiful. I guess it, it's made into a pouch of some sort. Well, it's a very eclectic little lot of stuff I got. This is heart and hand. You and I are friends. This is a little kit. It actually came with the DMC. But this was a beautiful, beautiful little sampler. I, I have a friend who's a hand surgeon. And this got hands in it. I thought it would be beautiful. This is another one of those kits, you and I are friends. Again, it came with the, the DMC. It's a heart. Let's make a cute little giveaway. Or to do it for my husband, maybe. And this is one more. This is another Valentine. Are these the same? No, it's a second Valentine. This one's called Valentine Be True. I don't know what it has in here. Let's see. Let's open it. This one also has the DMC. It's another Valentine. Here's one by Sandra Sullivan. Um, this is 2017. It's not that old. Uh, Spooky Kitty. Very cute. This is Manny Dodonna. This is a witch hat pin cushion. And this is, what the heck? This comes with it. This is Cinnamon Stick Christmas. It's been a, out a while. Gifts to you. Real pretty. Santa by Sandra Sullivan. And this one came with some sort of embellishments. So these all came in a little lot. I have more in this lot, but I figured I'd just show you some. 
and I thought that was pretty uh, that was pretty nice I gotta make sure I put these away so I'm gonna probably sell some of these maybe keep some of these maybe get give some for giveaways you know I will do the magazine let me get one of the magazines we haven't done let's just do the magazine um I just want to make sure I haven't done it have I done 2010 I don't think I did yeah yeah, maybe I did it. Let's look at let's look at another one. Hold on. We have 2013. I don't think I did this one. 2013. Oh, <laughs> I stepped on that. Um, Christmas ornaments. We'll briefly go through this one because I, I do want to show them to you, but I don't want to go through every ornament. Um First one is Jingle Bells. Oh, there's some cute stuff in here. The Country Cottage Needleworks, Blackbird Designs, Gemini Designs, Casey Buongaro Designs, Blue Ribbon, Mosey and Me, Designs by Lisa, Rosewood Manor, Victoria Sampler, Homespun Elegance, and Little by Little Design. I think my favorite is definitely number one, Country Cottage Needleworks Snowbirds. That's number one. Look, look at all these. And I read them all. You certainly could listen and write down which number you like if you're interested. Cute. Okay. The reason those little birds are, they remind me of that, of the sea at Epcot. They have these birds that talk. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Let's go to the next section. Like I said, I want to make this brief. I haven't eaten dinner. I'm hungry. This one's called Silver Bells. Summer House Stitch Works, Legacy Designs, Primrose Needleworks, The Sampler Girl, Patricia Ann, Blackberry Lane, Turquoise Graphics, and The Stitcher Hood. And my favorite is, gee, I don't know. I think I like this number eight, The Stitcher Hood piece. I will show you the first one. That I like, which I think is that little guy right there. Very cool. But they're all kind of cute. I'm trying to go slow enough and show you them so you can see them all. Next, let's go to the next color is home for the holidays. We've got La Di Da, Glory B, Plum Street, Prairie Schooler, Shepherd's Bush, M Designs, Little House, By the Bay Needle Art, Pickle Barrel, and Julia Lucas. And which one do I like the best? Hmm. I think I like the little mini stocking, number three by Plum Street. Um, as you can see, La Di Da has got that, th that trio of stars. That's kind of cool, too. That's the Plum Street stocking. There's a lot of cute stuff in this one. I think the, um, some of the older issues I like better than some of the issues today. Like, and I'm talking about the 2005 to, let's say, 2016. For whatever reason, I like this better. Uh... Next, let's go to the next. There's so many in here. I just need to find the, uh, hold on, where's the, these are hard to find. I gotta go through the whole, oh, here we go. Next is Tannenbaum. Flowers to Flowers, Scandinavian Stitches, Old Colonial Designs, Fern Ridge, The Work Basket, Nikki's Creations, The Sunflower Seed, Milady's Needle and Cherish Stitches, which is my favorite. Hmm, I think I like number eight, Milady's Needle, which is the one with that right there. Let's see if I can, right there, yeah. But they're all cute. It's kind of a cool tree. Nice red lady if you're into red ladies. There's one at the top that's really funny. That guy, he's sort of randomly put there. <laughs> he's sort of funny. It's called Christmas Tree Buddy. Okay, next. 
Let It Snow, Dames of the Needle, Julia Punti Anchichi, Needle Bling Designs, Plum Pudding, Amy Brooken, Sam Sarah, The Stitchworks, The Victorious Sampler, and The Nordic Needle. I got, I think I'd like number two, Giulia Punti Anchi Joy Noel, but I, there's this, I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a, uh, a cupcake in here that's pretty cool. But anyway, this is my favorite, is that girl right there. I think that's just lovely. I like that one too. It's so pretty. Looks like Dames of the Needle. She, a lot of her stuff has that sort of swirly look to it. Here's the cupcake. I'll show you what that cupcake looks like though. It's pretty cool. Let me just find that cupcake so you can see it. It's really interesting. I can find it. Here we go. It was made in a red silicone baking cup. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's a 3D cupcake. I actually like that a lot. I love the little gingerbread man on it. Next, Carol of the Bells. It's finally finished. Forget Me Nots, Jeanette Douglas, Knotted Tree, the Primitive Hair, Praiseworthy Stitches, Charlotte's Web, and My Big Toe. My favorite is number five, The Primitive Hair. I thought this was really nice. Peace on Earth is The Primitive Hair. I also like number one, it's finally finished, this Holly Berry Ball. It is a 3D ball, but this is the Peace on Earth. I just like this, something about it I just like. A lot of nice stuff there, huh? Just beautiful. Oh, it goes on and on and on. Let's go more. This is Oh Holy Night. We've got Fancy Work, We Works, Old Willow, Gentle Pursuit, Sue Hillis, Acorn House, Keepsakes, Ink, Circles, Debi, and Moss Creek. My favorite is, I think I like number three, Old Willow Stitch Early, a Chris, well, no, number two, Weaveworks. This, this ball, this 3D ornament, check this out. That one right there, pretty cool, right? That's a 3D ornament, very neat. That one's neat, that Merry Christmas with the poinsettia. That's cool too, the little motif. That ball ornament is very cool. It's um, by WeWorks, it's called Holly Rondell. Let's see, I think there's one more section. Angel Stitching, Imaginating, Glendon Place, Still Stitching with Susan, Brooks Books, Hands on Design, Tempting Tangles, Charlotte's Collectibles, Val Stuff, Heart Strings, and Dragon Dream. These are all Santas. And I like number three, Glendon Place, Ho Ho Santa. I think I just like the finish a lot. And it looks like a postage stamp. These are all Santas. He's hilarious. That is a funny Santa as well. I think that's so cool. I like these little elves. That Santa's got a feather tree, he's cool. Betcha that, that's so pretty. I like so many of these. That's a lot of cool Santas. <laughs> I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So, we showed a lot tonight. We've got some kitted up stuff, some starts, some finishes. Some Dickens. Oh, the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be a Glendon Place chart, Snowbound, but it's got to be something else besides the chart. I think I'm going to match this up with a piece of linen. I have a piece of linen for this. Let me see. Storm. If I picture this plus, it's not Storm, but I do have a um, I do have a piece of linen to match this up with. It'll be it'll be a quarter of linen. 
I'm going to match this up with a piece of linen. So that's actually, that's a lot of stuff. This is really a lot of money. <laughs> anyway, Spellbound. This is the, the beautiful, the beautiful giveaway in honor of Halloween. It's almost October. Here's how you enter. You must answer the question. Otherwise, I think I'm not entering. <laughs> so you got to answer the question. And if you don't want to be entered, that's okay, because some people are like, no, I already have that one, or whatever. That's fine. Just say it somewhere. But, hmm. If, if the ghost of Christmas past were to come to you, where would he take you? I can't wait to see what people write. You have a really good chance at winning this. You have a really good chance. Because there's only, I don't know, 15 people that, that comment. I got, I got more than, I think I got around 40 likes. That was good. And I got almost 400 watches, which is even better. I gotta tell you, I don't like, or uh, I don't comment on most of the videos I watch. Sometimes I do. But um, I'm, I, I love it. I love it. So, I love doing this. I think it's fun, and I'm happy that some people like watching me. And um, it's Sunday night. Have a great evening. From my house to yours, keep stitching. <laughs>